Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Uh, I want to wanna welcome you guys back to another stream. Give me one quick second, okay. Okay, well, okay I want to welcome you guys back to another stream. And as you can see by the title, and as you can see by the title, we are playing Gone Home. I tried to uh, start the stream while in the main menu, but it wouldn't let me because uh, it's blocked it for some reason. But we are here right now. We're going to start the game. And well, we're gonna continue on with the game since we just started it. Um, my apologies, cause uh, cause I know people are gonna watch this later or are gonna tune in, like to just to backtrack, cause if you like it and and part and part of the beginning was actually cut off because cause I had to start the stream immediately and it took a little bit of time. So hopefully, so hopefully the stream doesn't cut off again while we're playing. Well, at least we're in the game, right? So why not continue? Okay, I want to let you guys know before, uh, actually, I want to let you guys know now, since we're playing, that, uh, that this is not a horror game. We're playing a horror game tomorrow, I think. I believe we're playing a horror game tomorrow. We're going to play Amnesia. What the duck? But we're going to, we're going to play, uh, Amnesia tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday, yeah, so tomorrow, and maybe fr and maybe Friday. I think I need to I need to check my I need to check if I can, but hopefully it's ready. All right, let's let's uh, start. Kenny, I'm sorry I can't be there with you. It is impossible. Please, please don't. Don't dig around trying to find out where I am. Don't want anyone. To know we'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Nice. This is a very, very decent house. Hmm. Oh, man, swell string movers. Look at all that shit they got. Overweight library. It's over ten boxes, my dude. Eight boxes can get five. Buster to master. Six for child for, for child's bed. Twenty four inch TV and a fourteen dang you got your TVs are small as shit. <laughs> Brand balance of two thousand. Dear Katie, so much has changed. Even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. You got that all from a note? She leaves like notes lying around. I'm just kidding. She did. To be honest, this is a horror game. I still probably play it. No, low key. Go back. Candy's apartment. Thank you, anybody who might have given away someone's someone's location out of blue. 
to you, Danny. Danny from the old neighborhood called. He wants to, wants to go to new house. Calling back, mom, and dad. Apparently, it's a total weird reason. I never hung out with him in the first week because he had it, and it just ended up when we were little. It's kind of addicting to do. Just take your batteries. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. That does not sound like a message. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. What up, chick kid? Be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Life's been great. Okay, get us everything. Look at this family. Sam, Kate, and Terry and Jan. Look at them. <laughs> I have a family photo in my fucking basement. <laughs> but it's fine though. You know, she could tell with Jensen. Hi, mom and dad. I'm in Paris. I <laughs> done many per Parisian things, including eating the petite dejeuner and wearing on wearing a wearing on a wearing a oh that's a wearing a beret. I'm going to have a lot of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite little sister. I'm my favorite, yeah, little sister. Whatever. Love you all, Katie, mom and dad. Arbor Hill, weird. Huh. Oh my god. Fuck the storm! Good obituary. Oh yeah, dude's doing some detective work. What's your man 60? What kind of died peacefully last month? So I was born on September 8th, 1933, in the house that will be home for, for the rest of his life. He attained his degree. That gets received fast. He was seldom seen outside his home. Yeah. First was in the search. 1 p.m. at welcome. Robert Glue's nephew, terrorist. What the fuck happened? This is the Katie chick from the photo. Look, that beat. I'm just kidding. Didn't you put something in these drawers? You have everything lying around here. Look at that. But I'm want to talk though. My room's the exact same way. Heavens to Betsy. Where's Betsy? Welcome, student. See, kids, welcome back to school. Oh no, we <laughs> we hope that you are excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you, usually on your first day of class, so you can get into the swing of things. Uh, okay, she got all that shit. I don't, do not really care that much. <laughs> Please remember to get plenty of sleep before and be and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon, and and again, welcome. Beth Valance Principal. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name. But they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Well, this dang chicken, no reply, I see how it is. <laughs> I 
I think the reason they even said that to her is because of uh oh, my commute. Okay, yeah, I was making sure. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Turn that bitch on. Hmm. Fuck, what was I saying? That I bet something really is think something might have happened in this house. Who knows? Because they call her the Cycle House Girl. Because. Okay, let's be honest. The 80s. It could just be honest. School back then wasn't too, too bad. Well, actually, never mind. Scratch that. It probably was horrible, but not as bad as now. Jesus. It's fucking disgusting. Now, alright. DX Files. Not bad. I haven't, haven't seen the show, though. Let's go! Pillowfort. Hauntings and Poltergeist. And Poltergeist. Let me read that. Fuck your soda. I bet it's spilled. Loser. I'm just kidding. What's this? We letter Terry. Hey man, how are you been? I know you're a published author, author, and everything now. But my editor at at a hi-fi aficionado has too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another fr freelance nat another another freelance. Actually, I thought of you. You were saying you're a cat. You're in your last letter. How much of a pain it's been trying trying to find a publisher for your latest work. Of literature, and writing, and writing series uh, is dead simple. Sit at home with a with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. I've included some special some issues of the mag to use as an exa as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor. And tell him your old college. College buddy, I would just say buddy. Mike send you. Here's the address. Do it, Mike. Am I gonna do it? Did he do it? You know, we'd actually never find out. <laughs> I don't think you ever will. This game's been out for too long for us to, for that to actually like happen. I picked up that note, that shit got loud as hell. You guys hear that shit? Goddamn. For 9 1985. Dear Mrs. Something, I would like to talk to you about. No, the Samantha has been writing lately. In front of little boys in class. Schedule parent teacher meeting at your. The writing some weird shit. I know. To heaven at the edge of the world, Samantha. Remember in degrees. Took off the ocean wherever. Heard a cannon. Shield through the island. This is long as hell. <laughs> I remember I used to write huge, humongous letters, but now I have to write like tiny as shit just to, just to fit a goddamn paragraph in there. Shit, P.O. the captain. Allegra. Hmm. Not a bad story. Pull that bitch. Sam thought this might help. Dad. What is... Making friend. What a dick. You know that feeling? Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around Took them. Me water, and you that. have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk but sometimes I see her in this like army uniform and she's always drawing in this notebook looking so intense I had no idea how I would ever like have an excuse to talk to her till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-eleven every day after school hmm Fuck it, they play Street Fighter. I used to play the shit out of that when I was a kid. <laughs> Got my PS3. Caitlin Greenbar. It's your typical chick from the 80s, right? Am I right, guys? Come on. It's 
I'll be honest here. Hi, Terry. Sure, high page review, standard stuff like you gave us on the CLDD 502. Take on your Jordy unit. Where the fuck is it? No. Come. It wasn't even open. Why am I crouching? Can I run? No, I can zoom in shit though. Remember everybody, this is not a horror game. Look at this. What an ass. You don't say it to anybody. Fuck no. Does it run into fam- Of course it fucking doesn't, bitch. Unless I would be psycho, wouldn't, I wouldn't be staying in front of you if that was the case. That should have been the case. That should have been the case. Terrence Green Bar. Hmm. This, well, yeah, this kind of is a squeaky ass house. Look at that, see? You need to oil them bitches. Turn on that lamp. I want your folders. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? I can't read that. Can you guys read that? Because I can't. God damn. Can't read shit. You can do better. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Those are too blurry. I don't know. <laughs> I can't read. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, that actually... <laughs> that almost scared me. Hold up, guys. Okay, there it is. Okay. Fix the problem. Zero four five one. Okay, so it looks like the dad is having a little bit of an issue with this jabo. Oh, what was the combination again? <laughs> it was zero four five one. All right, zero four five one. Dear Mace, dear Miss, Mr. Mace, Ma Mason or Masson, please find a closed document and type copy your records. Huh. So 
to my possessive full coming into my memory after full survey of Valley Adams to my name to hear my clear document my last will and testament shall hold upon true upon my passing what who the f what 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 is this again? What the hell? Who the hell can read this, dude? I can't read it. But this dad doesn't love us. Clearly doesn't, my god. Stranger under my roof. Fuck that. Oopsies. <laughs> the misfits. Uh. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Well, um, <laughs> a lot of people will take that out of context. But I might or might not have accidentally skipped a little bit part, a little bit too much. So no time. Please give this to your mother. Fucking Danny. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Dang, see that? See that? See that, fellas? They're only using you. Weird, All right? I mean, more reproductive system worksheet. Holy Lord! No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God. I didn't mean to look through that. I'm very sorry. Oh no! What's this? Your writing information. Unfortunately, Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to the ex accidental pariah. By the Losios of Accidental Savior, you went ahead with your to show the second book, the hopes of the world. Damn. I bet nowadays, like, selling, at least, like, writing and selling books is gonna be way more difficult now than it used to be, probably. Especially now with technology and shit. No. Nope. Please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. So. What's missing? Hi Lonnie, so you want to come over to my house? I think that would be cool. Drive. It's 
Imagine you saw a shadow on the fucking floorboard. You guys see that floorboard? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm totally in. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Well, good for her. She's got a girlfriend now. She works at a forestry service. Okay. That's what the mom works at. Can we can we make them pay like a shit ton of money for a water bill? I mean for the electricity bill. They're gonna pay like two hundred. <laughs> What a shitty joke, I know. Guess we're going upstairs now. Oopsies. Should there be a fucking jump scare or something? Control burn. Schedule for Boone County. Oh, is that why they moved? Because the, the fucking fire? Because didn't they used to live there? Or is it, or is it this mountain that they're in? You guys hear a doorknob? Poor wallpaper. I actually never heard a fucking doorknob in my life. Hmm. TC attached. Oh. For Sam. Look at this, guys. It's for us. Love things that. Uh... It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is, like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape, and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. That is very nice. Sam, stop leaving every damn light in a house on. You're as bad as your sister. Goddamn. Dang. She loves that Daniel chick. Do whom I may concern if Sam is you are soon here. Not going into the city, man. Fuck you. What do you mean not going to the city? Mobile. I don't think I'm allowed to play this on. I don't think I'm allowed to play this on YouTube. <laughs> I don't think I am. I do If I was, well then, I think the song was. I think the song is song is copyrighted. I think I'm not too sure. Adventurous and cat returns. Adventurous cat returns. Where did the switch go? I mean the. <laughs> I mean the. The damn thing shakes the damn house. But what happened to the Super Nintendo though? Come on. Come on. Chun Li moves. Fireball. Hmm. 
Look at all these off-brand games. <laughs> Look, see, little kids. This, this is where, this is where the uh, old school shit happened. I mean, like, I mean, just like the old school, like, che like cheese sheets were. Combo. Steggy. She does this little stuff to ammo in high school. I can't blame her. I probably would do the same if I did it, if I actually felt like that. I wanted to. To do shit like that. Well, mm. body pillows be like. Hmm. Give our teacher. Bro, really? Teachers do be like that though. You miss you, you you like you like don't put that one thing on there. They're automatically pissed. Like bro. They give you a bad grade for that. I think like not any of your parents name it down and down dumb me that down to like a D is like Holy shit. It's a little bit unreasonable. Not even a little bit, it's very unreasonable. Hmm. Just for me showing off her full sky shirt. Huh. Brochet. Min. Teenage Dry Creek Road. We're coming to the cat. Should be around here, right? Nice. Nice, uh. Thingamajig. The Holy Bible. Nope, nope, nope. Got your number. I don't think I think people are not gonna appreciate me saying that I do not like the Bible. Okay, I'm not gonna read all that. That's just too long. Fuck that. <laughs> The Holy Bible. Hmm. Well, I'm not too big of a fan of the Bible, but if you if you will like the Bible, then that's you. Wait, what? Kirk, Kurt, Cobain. Huh. Very interesting. Hmm. Like a person. Hey, Sen, do you want to see Pulp Fiction? School and Coliseum came out last weekend and won't shut up about it. Alright, there's good. You can make fun of it for liking it. Tune in for a Hmm. 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 Look at that, we're trying to rebel this bitch. Goddamn. Hmm. You okay there? The fuck happened? What's this? Oh, okay, just die. Get the fuck over there. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and... I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. God damn, dude. See, look. Chris, this is for you. But still, look, they missed their chance, just like you did a very long time ago. Because I think you know who. But that doesn't matter now, does it? Why did I close the door? Hmm. Look at all that. Got a condom? 
Look at that. Everybody have some nice business tonight. The fuck you put that in the drawers? I expected it to be like under the bed or something. <laughs> Did you guys fucking hear that? The power of Christ compels you. Stay the fuck away, please. Post cart. Your mom and Sam. Mom, dad, and Sam. I'm at the channel. This is the second passage through the channel. Alright. Uh, you guess you're that whisper shit? The game's fucking with me. It's fucking with us, actually. Broken ass TV. President's men. Oh, I feel so damn lonely. Please, chat, comfort me. Men. One cat. When the fuck did, was the cat like? Did the cat die a long time ago or something? Not gonna, not interested. Huh? Is everybody in this fucking family a goddamn reader? That's too much to read, and I can't read curses too well, so I'm very sorry. There. kids it's one very narrow head <laughs> oh my god I just made fun of somebody I feel so bad in this video game character character huh look at this bandits well yeah quick fix in the I'm gonna quick fix and something Leave all the lights on. After the honeymoon, discovering your spouse personal, personally, spiritually, and sexually. Ooh, I don't think their marriage is going too well. At least not yet. Yeah, at least it has uh, it's not gone too well. Hmm. Poor family. Poor mom. Poor dad. Alright, let's keep going. What's this? Okay, mom and dad, we're going to make up the guest room for you to stay over the summer, but you can come. But you came home in such short notice that you weren't able to, to do it. Alright, it's fine, I don't care. All this. Do you guys still keep? Do you guys still use composition notebooks? I wonder. I really do wonder. Katie, Katie. I'm gonna have one empty ass fucking room for a while though. Look at that flower. Only waiting. There's no mom did some painting or something here. Your typical mom, right? Does painting shit. How don't you? Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. 
Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Aww. Of course she could tell. First show with her. Look at this. Why? Why? Oh, that's fucking dope. Jesus. Or Sam calculated. Heavens to Betsy. Huh. Interesting. Captain Allegra and the first mate. Interesting. Very interesting. At least you saw the costume, though. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if real lights are on. Alright. Hmm. Is she up there? No, I don't know. I don't know. Where can you be? What's the drawer? Hmm. Oh wow, look at that. The library secret passage. Down to four. There should be a secret passage in the library. Let's go boys. Let's go to the let's go to the basement. It's our next stop. Well, I wish you could run, cause this will cause this will this would would have gone a little bit faster. But we're not running though, cause it, it, cause we have no choice but to walk. This house needs to stop fucking creaking, or I I'm gonna call a fucking priest, Lord. So this is a library to sit somewhere over here. Aha! Look at that! And what the hell is all this? Look at that. Old ass newspapers? I mean, not old newspaper, but like old uh, stuff. From like. I guess the 19, eight, like 1900s, like early 1900s. Then we got that. Give me one quick second though, cause there's some hidden fucking panels I need to go to. Okay, yeah, so we actually actually got that one over there. But it's fine. There should be another one in the middle of the hallway. Which I did not know. Where? Okay, there should be one of these panels. Found it. There we go. Property of Sam. Sam's lock combo added to the backpack. Nice. We got half the half the combo. Alright. Heaven at the edge of the world. Private do not read. Lego her scouts. What was the story that she wrote? Hmm. Oopsies. Story that she wrote. She wants to be like her dad, but hopefully, she, hopefully, if she does become like her dad, hopefully she's more fucking successful. Don't close it. Don't close it. She better not be as broken as her dad. Let's just go to. We got. Hmm. Should be something. So let's try. Okay, so the last thing is, okay, this is five, zero, and then one. And then.
Got it. Haha. <laughs> Line 19, the damn 19. 40 Lonnie something. Came over today. 44. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair. And she she smokes now. Look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say. But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the story does have a something at least that's a little bit happy. Something happy. To fuck the Nice dice. At least you got a kiss, right? It's at least worth that. Alright. There was nothing wrong added to the backpack. Okay. I got a backpack? Oh. I clearly left it in front of the door, but whatever. Look at that. There's Samantha. Hmm. Alright. Parents read along, but it was pretty funny. Soto. Alright. Kitty shit. Alright, it's back here. Oh my god, it's one of those damn things. Another worksheet. Hey, so you gotta check and the next. Huh. Oh shit, it's one of her. Oh no, it's one of the main characters. I mean, not main character. Okay, for okay, who the fuck's the main character? I have no idea who the hell's main character. Nice boiler, too. Looks really nice. That This, this is totally not a fire hazard. They were just saying that shouldn't be talking, though. <laughs> The call she wanted in, right? I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. Oh. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Depression has hit hard into my into our soul. Dear Terrence, thank you for Quit creaking. This house is about to break any moment. Look at that. Interesting. Citizenship shit. Make sure everybody that you got your uh, bullshit. Uh, you like your. Uh, fuck, what's a good example? Your max share birth certificate, whatever certificates you need, whatever, like. Certificates you also need to like get jobs and shit, like the high school one or the or the college one, depending on how much how many years you study for. So, yeah. Damn. What is that? X-ray specs. Alright, I'll, I'll put that back. Girl Scouts, being unknown, that's... Hmm. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. 
but she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. It's funny how shit like this makes it sound like summer is like 10 months long, but like, oh my god, there's so much you can do, it's just like not too much to do, like, well yeah, there's not too much to do depending on who you are, but, I think that summer is not too long, in my opinion, I think it could be a tiny bit longer, like, like all that shit, it sounds sound like they've been summer for like 4 or 5 months, like, come on. Interesting. Shut the fuck up, Storm. You know I'm right. You know I'm right. I wish summer lasted so damn long. I wish summer was fucking like amazing. It's like stupid amazing. Look at that postcard. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. That's a okay. bit tough. A lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. Kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Teachers gotta be snitches, though. They, they, oh, they always, they always like, oh well, uh, there, yeah, there was this one person, and then, then, then they're like with this other chick, and I'm like, well, um. Well, you don't have to say that. You can just you can say this. You can say she wandered off, and then we have to stop because we nearly left her. So then Dad would be like, "All right, whatever." Change his hands. Some old ass newspapers. I feel bad for most of the newspaper companies nowadays because now they just seem so. At least from what I can see, they're like not too relevant as they were before. I wish they were relevant still, but at the same time, like, not a lot of people read newspapers anymore, especially with the internet and shit, covering all the news sources and shit. To be honest, it's kind of depressing. Facts. She put out a really good fact when she wrote that little note. Women's Outlaws. Huh. Never heard of it. <laughs> oh, they, oh, they were making their own... Oh, okay, they're... Okay, yeah, okay. I get it now. They were making their own little comic. That's cute. Yeah, see, so look at this. Damn. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said... They don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. 
I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Hmm, well, at the same time, she kind of does have a point. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, to be honest, yeah, she kind of does have a point. They don't, not everybody needs to know or like a lot of shit about you, though. That's the thing. But then everybody's like, oh, well. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Tough. Oh, what the fuck happened to you? There goes that light. Sister. Look at that. It's from that a trip she went to. What was the coolest thing I ever found in Mexico? It was like three bucks. American. I love it. Merry Christmas. What skull? I've never seen a skull. Is there a skull somewhere? If there is, I probably fucking missed it. Like, hard. Look at this. This is a nice fucking photo. What do you mean? It's beautiful. And that vacation. Middle Ages. Hey, at least she's coming out today with her family, though. I probably wouldn't. No butts in it. <laughs> nice. Mom's purse. Get that shit out of here. That shit's broke. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a manual of the forest. Hi, Django. Too good, sir. Look at that entirely another room. I think it's cool to try doing their own little thing. I think they try doing their own little comic or something if I'm correct. Distributing inappropriate materials. Damn, four actually four days. You can see that four twenty four to four twenty. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> but she wasn't she wasn't doing that good though. Grade eleven. Sam, since you're free to hear us out in the afternoon, your mother and I are putting this answer absolutely clear. You're a goner for the rest of the month from social and telephone. What does that race part say? Privileges and now using your car for anything. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She-Ra. He likes Chris. Mom and Dad did. <laughs> but they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. 
Okay, what kind of parent fucking says that? It's a face, girl! For, and if the mom says that, dude, you tell her, dude. How was it kissing a girl? Cause you, cause, cause, what the fuck? <laughs> did you kiss, did you, were you falling in love with the girl back then when you were in middle school or whatever, or high school or something? She's, she's gonna be all salty, just. Any tips for any females out there? I really thought there was any. It's it's that it's that. Don't worry. Hold on. Let me do something really quickly. Give me one quick second. I apologize for the uh, blue screen. I'll be right back. Hold up. All right. I'm back. There we go. Congratulations. Good job, Knight. She got a nice shift. <laughs> Fuck off, Chris. <laughs> you gotta be aware. You gotta be aware. <laughs> of uh, uh, I don't I have no idea. I have no idea. All this fucking food. Imitation. I said wedding invitation schedule. You know, schedule working at the Crown Bur at Crown Burger. Nice bloody banana. I wonder where this went. I mean, what? <laughs> the shadow here. No, 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 no. I did not say, just say that. I did not just say that. That damn banana. God damn it. God damn it, banana. I'm not grabbing a plate. Actually, can I? There's like that one one. I've been the female. <laughs> God damn. Well... You know what, if you want to be the female, I'm not going to stop you. It's your choice. <laughs> they have so many pizza boxes, oh lord! Fuck your phone. Guys, you're in a new position. Hey, mom got a... Look at that, mom got a new, uh... Or she got a raise or something, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Oh, massive. Huh? Let's see, on a dimension. It's a cult type shit. Oh my god, damn thunderstorm. Who the fuck is joining a cult? Sam, your mother and I will be away for all for a long weekend, celebrating our anniversary June 3rd, 7th. We'll be camping in the gorge, but we will keep. On our way home, sorry to catch you in this. pizza while you're gone. Forty dollars for a pizza? Bitch! <laughs> if you order online now, that's forty dollars. If well, actually, depending on what type of pizza you order, because yeah, you know what I mean. Or do you? Yeah, that's a military hat. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be gone. Just gone. I would love to say I relate, but I don't. <laughs> but I think it's really nice, though. I'll actually, I really love the story. I know that when the game launched, not a lot of people liked it, but... Oh, shit. That's not you throw shit. Now, I know people, when the game launched, they thought it was gonna be, like, a spooky-ass fucking game, but I'm... 
sometimes I'm kind of sometimes I'm kind of glad it's not. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't. What was it have been? How do you toss it? A bit too heavy. Does the book work? Oh, I know I can get that ball. Let's try a can of soda. So close. Bruh, alright. Ball. What? Bullshit. Got it. Let's go. Just watch this, guys. I'm gonna show you guys something very cool. Really quick. It'll be very quick. Oh, yeah. Sorry for notifications, too. They are coming up. I'm almost done. Yeah, I'm gonna be almost done here because the game is like not too long. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Buckets. <laughs> Hell yeah. Trust me, dude. I'm going to make another bucket. Just watch this. Better be just some. There better be some creepy bitch in the fucking in the hallway. See, look. Should be. Nope. Come here. All right, and bruh, look at this. I'm gonna be the next. I'm gonna be the next NBA player. Actually, no, never mind. It's fucking cringy. Scratch that. Scratch that. Scratch that. Got it! Holy fuck! Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. <laughs> Fucking cats, dude. Fucking cats. Fucking cats. Oh, hmm. I wonder why half the chat isn't loading in the fucking cat. I like some cat anime girls. They're fine. <gasps> okay, sorry. I actually took a big breath of air. Uh. I want to. I want. I want to talk to you guys about something really quickly. Hold up, letter. I cannot recurse it. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. If you could recurse it, then that's for you. It ain't for me though. All right, whatever. Oh, this is the skull they were talking about. Look, Echo Mexico. But I want to tell you guys, I want to talk to you guys about something really quickly. I was looking through the PlayStation Store. Actually, no, I wasn't looking through the PlayStation Store. They actually came out with recommendations on YouTube. And it turns out there's a there's a, a very, very, very uh, interesting uh, visual novel that I did not know was available for the, four, for the PlayStation 4 and Switch. I don't know if you guys have heard about it or not. And that, that's and that's and that's uh that's you guys you guys you you guys probably know. I don't fucking know. But uh I was thinking about playing it. You know, playing shut the fuck up Storm, I'm trying to talk. But I was thinking about playing the uh, visual novel novel. I don't know what I don't know if you guys heard about it. It's called uh It's called Nico Pero. I don't know if you guys have heard about it or not. But I saw it on the PlayStation Store, and I was like, I didn't know it existed on the PlayStation Store. It's the only I thought it was only a PC game, but I guess not anymore. And it turns out part one, two, three is a uh, part one, two, three of Nickel Power is on PlayStation Four. So if you guys are interested, if you guys are interested in the game. I like the visual novel. I will gladly play for you guys, even though it's probably going to be. It's gonna be very interesting. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. If you don't know Nicole is it's about it's about a bunch of cat girls, alright? Let's let us let us just leave it at that. You'll find out, don't worry. It is. Gotta keep up to date more more. But 
Yeah, yeah. If you want to know what it is, you can Google it. It's fine. Go ahead. I'm just gonna say it's for. It just says cat girls and stuff, and then people are like, <laughs> people are really want to fuck it. People really love those damn cat girls. Oh lord. But. Yeah, I don't know. If you if you guys are interested, then it's there. If you want to look up, if you'll look up Nico Perro, it's really well known. It's it's on you. It's on Google. Trust me, you'll you'll find it. And be be warned that it is very very interesting. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. And I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. That's sweet. That's very sweet. Well, is that sweet? Or is that just like, I don't fucking love you anymore or something? If you watch the visual novel of the of Nico Perro, it is something. It is trust me, it is something. Especially the 18 plus one on fucking PC. <laughs> I have not seen it because it's because I don't fuck I don't fucking feel like watching it. To be honest, I don't want to watch it. The, I saw the anime. I actually I thought the anime was fine. I thought the anime was not that bad. I thought, actually, it was, it was enjoyable for what it was. Him. Yeah. She explained it better. The army is thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's are into like family. I've always. Damn. She washed her. She washed her pants. Oh, she, yeah. She yeah. She, yeah. She dried her pants and washed them. Goddamn. With the note there. It sucks. Here that happens. Cover copy. It's only twenty years ago. I'm sure your dad writes this shit at. To be honest, it's a little bit too open, in my opinion. Secret store. We agreed our last night together. Let's go. We were happiest ever, and we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off, then ran up to the attic to look through our photos, to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do, and I cried, and she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. The fuck they doing over here? <laughs> the fuck were they doing? Possession and exorcism. Totally. See, look, guys. Look, don't play with demonic shit. Add a key. The music for this game is the one that I love more than uh, than uh, was it Firewatch? I really love the music for Gone Home a lot more than Firewatch, in my opinion. 
it is way more chill and relaxing and more I guess well yeah it's more relaxing <laughs> all right we got the attic key let's go the sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen I just want to sleep when I'm in the attic it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Huh. Alright boys, this is... Creaky ass. Yes. We wait. wait. Oh yes, you what? You have someone to go down so go down those stairs like a fucking like you have someone to go down those stairs like the flash of the dude like come on that was fucking quick as shit. At the beginning of the game, there's like a little goose you can put up in that nest and that nest, uh let me put it up there. Dude. Finishing this game again is gonna is a huge honor again. I right, fuck it. This game is short, but I enjoy it. I love this game. I really do. I think it's enjoyable. The story's interesting enough. And, well, the music is beautiful as well. Remember, guys, it's, remember guys this is not a horror game. This is another just full-on, just another walking simulator. Alright, go. Stay there, duck. What's this? Oh my hmm. god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive. Until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that and I said yes yes she said yes <laughs> let's go she said yes this stuff is not good for your skin get the shit out of here <laughs> I feel like when you do, I feel like when you, okay, before we do end this, I feel like the story, I feel like when you, when you perfectly, like, beautifully imagine this story, like, we, like, I should have played the shit during the summer for you guys, to be honest, I don't know why I didn't play, didn't stream at all, anything during the summer, or like the month, a few months before, a few months before that too. Shut up, house, but I think that. This game would have been amazing to play during the summer for you guys, and because the visuals and shit you get while playing this during the summer is honestly amazing. Because I played this shit during the summer and the the story and everything, like you could just imagine like the beautiful sunsets, the nice, the nice like lit it up like lit up city during the summer. It, I'm so sorry I didn't play this shit with you guys earlier, man. I'm very I'm very sorry, but. Let's just, let's end this. Katie, I'm so sorry. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know. I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. 
She dipped. <laughs> it was for love, though. <laughs> yeah, so the game is not that long. It's very, it's fairly short, but I think it's a nice game. I really love this game. I know Fulbright Company did shit with uh, with a game called What Remains of Edith Finch. I I played that game out. I, I fucking cried, but. This game was really nice, and it said it, at least from what I'm getting, at least from what I got from Easter eggs, from Firewatch and this game, they're both set in the same world, so I guess that's nice. I guess it's really great, though, to be honest. Yeah, they're both set in the same world. As they both share very similar things. Not only gameplay-wise, but also some story-wise. But before this gets too long, because I know when this shit goes through the main menu, it's gonna cut off. It's gonna cut off and get into stream, so... Tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna be playing Amnesia, and I'm very fucking scared, but also very excited at the same time. If you guys are interested in Nickel Pearl, I'm gonna ask a few questions on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, Instagram. Actually, I'm in on a Snapchat, but I know it's copyright. So I'm talking over it, Chris. Shut up. But, but if you guys do, if you guys do want, if you guys. Enjoy this. Make sure to like, button, subscribe. Make sure to hit the like. Make sure to hit the bell notification so you guys are notified every time I'm streaming. So, if you guys enjoy this, please stay safe, stay strong, stay warm, and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye. Did it cut off? No, the stream is still. <laughs> That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit, dude. <laughs> That kicked me out. I kicked me out of the main menu earlier. I call hacks, but I'm, if you guys are interested in Nickel Paro shit, so <laughs> if you guys are interested in playing the uh, Nickel Paro shit with me, it's gonna be very, very interesting. But I'm down to play at least the first volume on the PlayStation 4 before the 5 comes out, because I know it's gonna be backwards compatible. It's not part of the 10 games. That's not gonna be backwards compatible. With the with the with the PlayStation 5, so I'm gonna be able to play this shit. So I'm gonna be able to play the other Nickel Paros as well. Even though I know the fourth one comes out in the uh, in a few weeks actually for the fourth volume, but until that comes out, it was Ray traced fucking cat girls, but that's a different story for another day. But remember tomorrow we're gonna be playing Amnesia, and I hope you guys did enjoy this stream. If you guys did, please share, like, button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you guys are notified every time I'm streaming. I want to thank you all for watching. If you guys, if it's now or later, please stay warm, stay safe, and have a beautiful rest of your day. And I really hope you guys, I really hope that at least some of you are watching this during the summer, as I think you're gonna have one hell of a time watching this. But have an amazing rest of your day, guys.